and welcome to Unity 3D C Sharp. This is lesson 20 on random numbers. Now, what you're looking at here, <clears throat> this is what we had before from the previous lesson. Uh, we put everything into an array and we did four next loop where we could create all kinds of monsters. The problem that we had is that every race and name and age and health were exactly the same. In this video lesson, what I'm going to show you is how you can randomize the age uh, through controlled range of values and randomize the health through controlled range of values. This video will not show you yet how to do uh, the race and the, and the name in terms of strings, but in terms of values, of numeric values, this video will show you how to do that video after the next one that will show you how to do it for strings. So what we'll have in this video is we'll have random ages, random health, but they'll all be for orcs and they'll still be for Gorky. But just bear with me on this. So here's what we're going to do. Here's what's different. This is the new stuff. What I have, this is my class just like I had before. Uh, all my stuff in it. What I have here now is I have added four variables, and they're all of type float. There is the age value, the age, uh, health value, and the health. Okay. Now let's see what that means. Here, uh, here I'm creating uh, uh, 51 objects starting at, at one. Okay, instantaneous. Now this is what's new. This is a random value, and this is a built-in. Uh, uh, function that um, Unity 3D has. Uh, this is not a standard C-sharp. <clears throat> this is built into Unity 3D. What this does is that every time this is used, random value is used, it generates a random number between 1 and 0, inclusive. That means it could be a 1, or it could be a 0, or any fractional value in between. It could be a 0 0.998, it could be a 0 0.847, it could be a 0 0.236, it could be a 0 0.042, and so on. So what I've done, and, and, it's a, and it's a float, it's a type float because it's fractional. And that's what I have, age value is a type float. I'm also doing it for health value. So these are generating uh, two random numbers, age value and health value, every time this goes through this loop, this, this will hopefully be a different value. Okay, and it'll be a value between 1 and 0 inclusive. Now, this right here, the age is also a type float, but now I'm using another Unity 3D function that takes the, this argument, what's inside here, and displays it as an integer. But it's still a type float. It just ex displays it as a whole number, but it's a type float. And let's see what, what is happening inside this argument here. What's the values that the age could have? Well, age value, this right here, comes from age value up here. And we said that age value, random dot value, can vary between 1 and 0 inclusive. So when this is a 1, 1 times 100 is 100, plus 12 is 12. So that means the maximum age that could be generated here is 112. What's the minimum age that could be generated here? Well, we said that this could be a value as low as 0, actually 0.0. .0. 0 times 100 is 0, plus 12 is 12. So the, the minimum age for the monster would be a 12. So any value between 12 and 112 would be generated for the age, and it is of type float still. The same thing here. I'm using this function over again. Let's see what the range would be in here for health. Well, the maximum value that health could be is 1, so it would be 500, 1 times 500 is 500, plus 1, 501. The minimum value for health would be 0 times 500, which would be 0, plus 1. So the minimum value for health would be a 1, which means they're not dead yet. If the health were 0 0.5, then 0 0.5 times 500 is 250. 250 plus 1 would be 251. So every time we go through here now, we're going to be generating new values 
for the age and the health. Now, if I look down here, if I look down here uh, where I'm, I'm making these arrays, and I, the race is still always going to be an orc, and the name is still always going to be Gorky, uh, but in the next video we'll show you um, we'll show you how to make randomized string values. But what's important here is we've taken the age now right here, and the age comes from the age up here, okay? And we've cast it to an integer by typing this in front of it. We've cast it to an integer because uh, age, monster.age, as you would recall up here from our class definition, where is it, is an integer. So we had to cast it to an integer. So now what's going to happen is that monster, whichever one it is, uh, dot age is going to be the integer value of whatever came out of age. The same thing with health. I cast it, since the health started out as a float, I had to cast it to an integer because the health from the class definition is an integer. And so now I just want to see the data from the first 10 uh, monsters. That's, that's all I'm looking for here. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this a try and see how it works. Yeah, fingers crossed, it always works. <laughs> it always works right the first time. So if I come here, I look in the main camera. I have my monster script here. I'm going to go ahead and, and generate, and there they go. And let's see what we have here. I'm going to open this up in my space bar. Here I have the monster that has a health of 462 and age of 105. Of course, he's Gorky and an orc. He's monster 10. Now, notice up here, the health for this monster is 20. Down here, the health was 462. The age for this monster up here is 57. Down here, it was 105. And if I look up here, this was monster number 9. So let's see what this other monster is. Well, here, the, the health is 497, and the age is 67. We'll compare it down here to this monster. The age was 57, and the health was 20. So I see what I'm doing now what's happening is I am randomly generating uh, between a, a specific range the age and the health for every monster that I have. So if I have a thousand monsters, they will have, uh, there, there's some that may have the same name, uh, same age, I'm sorry, and there's some that may have the same health, and there's even a remote chance that some would have the same age and health at the same time. But by and large, they're going to be different. And that's what we see here. So, in this lesson, what we covered was the idea of using random numbers, random values, and how random values are generated in Unity 3D. This is really not using C sharp to generate random values. In, in the real C sharp, the way that's done is different, but the concept is exactly the same. Okay, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. On our next video, I will show you how to randomly generate string values along with the uh, numeric values. And we will have a really cool engine for generating monsters and for generating super duper treasure chests. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.